Hi everyone, welcome back to Themed Office Hours with Jess. So today I'm actually going to talk a little bit more abstract and talk about why um, I went and got a PhD in public health. Um, kind of starting back to um, my journey of getting my MPH at Yale. So I had taken two years off from school um, working sort of like random non-public health related jobs after undergrad. And then I decided, I'm like, okay, I need to go back and get my master's in public health because it's time to, you know, rediscover my passion for public health and teaching. So I applied, got into Yale, all great. And when I was deciding what I wanted to do for my summer internship, I was looking at schools back in California because I was like, I do not want to stay on the East Coast. So I ended up networking and um, finding a professor at Stanford um, who was doing work in adolescent risk behaviors, which I knew kind of broadly that's what I was interested in, uh, but then found out she was actually doing work um, in terms of developing an educational toolkit um, to prevent um, tobacco use um, among middle school and high school students. So I was like, that sounds amazing because I love teaching and education and you know all of that. So worked with her. And this was the summer of 2018, so right when um, Juul was becoming super popular. And so my project with her was basically to be like the Juul expert in her lab. And we actually ended up writing a paper that sort of exposed how Juul was like problematically creating this prevention curriculum that as like a answer to all the backlash that they were getting for the youth appeal stuff. So that was just like a very fun, I almost got to be like a detective for the summer. Um, and then at the end, my mentor sort of asked me at the end of my internship, like, you know, what are your career goals? Like, what do you want to do? And I told her, I was like, you know, I'd love to do what you're doing, you know, do research, mentor students and teach at a college level or like a university. And she was like, well, I hate to say this, but in order to do that, you have to get a PhD. Like, there's no way around it so um i kind of decided at that moment it was always in the back of my head that okay maybe i someday want to get a doctorate degree and i think that conversation sort of just like solidified like okay i'm just gonna do this and i decided to apply sort of right away that following cycle because i didn't want to lose my momentum i was like well i could you know take a gap year and then see what happens but i didn't want that gap year to turn into like a gap multiple years um, and I'm glad I kind of like dove straight into it because I ended up getting into a lot of great programs. Now I'm at Harvard, um, so things ended up working out really well. Um, but that's kind of like why I went back. It's because I genuinely wanted to find a career in both research and teaching and mentoring and doing that at like a college university setting. So I knew that was like the right path for me. So in thinking of the reason why you might wanna go off and pursue a PhD, that why is really important. And knowing that you like need to have that passion for the research in order to get through it is really important. And I think, you know, again, if you love working with students, mentoring them, teaching them, that's only gonna add to your experience as well. So again, um, probably aren't surprised that I love mentoring students. That's why I do this. I have this channel. I'm pursuing the career I'm pursuing. Um, I also do want to say that I actually created a very beta version of a blog um, or like a website about how my applying to PhD program experience was and what I found to be successful um, in that process. Um, so I'll leave that link um, in this um, video description for you all if you'd like that as a resource as well. Again, it's very beta, um, kind of like a rough draft still, but um, I think it has some great information. And again, I do share my own personal experiences. There's lots of like email templates and stuff on there that could be useful for you all. Um, so again, um, that's kind of my quick story of why I got a PhD. Um, if you have questions, feel free to leave them. Thank you.